Today, I'm gonna to take you through an explosive power barbell workout. You can do this as a follow along with me. It's gonna be 30 minutes long. We're gonna start off with an empty bar or very light loaded bar warm up. Then we've got two main strength sections. Let's get into the warm up. So first up, we've got something called a front wrap mobility drill. So you're gonna bring the bar up level with your collarbone. You're gonna tightly grip it with one hand, you're gonna loosen the other hand, and we're gonna rotate the elbow under and up. Three, two, one, let's go. And then you're gonna switch. So you're gonna alternate hands. So you're gonna grip one, rotate the elbow under and up, while it loosely rotates in the other hand, and you're gonna be switching sides. This is a great warm-up drill, getting your front rack position ready, to receive the bar in some power cleans later on. Bring the bar down to your hips, straight into some Romanian deadlifts. So this is a hip hinge action. Push the hips back, let the hamstrings take some stretch, keep the upper back engaged, and keep the bar really close to your body. It's almost sliding down your quads, making contact with your shins. You can unlock your knees, but you want to keep them relatively straight. Okay, I want you to bring a snatch grip whip. You're going to come just below the knee, drive up, through to the top. This is called a hang power snatch. The hang part just means that you're only going down to the knee. The power part of the name means that you're not dropping into a full squat position. All right, we're gonna bring the hands a little closer. We're gonna go for an alternating march, just getting the shoulders warmed up and the hip flexors warmed up. So nice controlled march. Alternating legs, trying to get the knee above hip height. Keep the elbows locked up and the bar pushed away towards the ceiling. All right, let's bring the bar onto your back. We're gonna get some alternating reverse lunges in. So yeah, alternating backward steps, dropping the back knee nice and close to the floor. Make sure the front knee is not collapsing in. We're gonna go straight into the next round after this, back to that front rack mobility. So you'll need to bring the bar back over your head. So back over your head, maybe narrow your grip. So you're gripping one, turning the elbow under and up with the tightly gripped hand while the bar just loosely rotates in the other hand. The bar should stay relatively level and close to your body as you swivel under and up. All right, let's bring this to the hips. Go for those Romanian deadlifts, get the hamstrings mobilized. So you're reaching the hips back, should have a neutral black back position in that hinge. Although you can unlock your knees, you shouldn't be bending them too much. Your feet are gonna be parallel with no turnout. Take a nice wide snatch grip. You're gonna come down just below the knees, slight bend, and drive up to the top. You can make contact just below your belly button. That's great, but don't worry too much about that. Just think about keeping the bar traveling up in a straight line, nice and close to your body. Bring your grip narrower. I'm gonna go for that alternating march, locking the elbows out. We're not just holding the bar, we're reaching the bar up nice and tall, trying to get the knee above hip height if you can, get those hip flexors engaged, 
for our final warm-up exercise after this. And we're on to those reverse lunges. So alternating backward steps, get the glutes fired up a bit. So today is an explosive power workout. So we're gonna have some derivatives of Olympic lifts. I'm not gonna do any full snatches or full cleans, but we'll be doing easier variations of them. Mixed in with some other exercises. Okay, we've got 60 seconds to load the bar. I'm gonna load 40 kilograms. That's 88 pounds but just put on whatever's suitable for you. You're gonna to need to be able to power snatch the bar for about six to eight reps. If you don't know what a power snatch is, then uh, I'll show you a demo in a second and just maybe go a little bit lighter than you think. So like I said, I've got 40 kilos, 88 pounds. I'm gonna add some wrist strap on as well. I'm gonna start off with that power snatch. We're gonna do three rounds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, four different exercises. So back to the floor, reset that snatch position. It's called a power snatch because we're not dropping into a full squat today. I'm taking my time between reps. You can always finish your rep. Don't worry too much about the, the clock. All right, next up. We're gonna do a push jerk. So it's like a push press, but you're just gonna do a slight drop under the bar when you're in the top position. If you're struggling with coordination, just do a push press. So I'm dropping under the bar just at the last second, and then standing up straight, returning the bar. Try and start with the bar as close to your collarbone as you can. You want your elbows either directly under the bar or slightly out in front. It's good to use a nice sharp leg drive. Let's get one more. Because this is a full body power workout. So we're not really looking to isolate your muscles. We want these full body movements. So next up, we're gonna take that bar onto the back and we're gonna do some alternating front lunges. If you struggle with lunges, just do body weight or grab some light dumbbells for these. So alternating front steps into that lunge, making sure that front knee isn't collapsing in. Bring it back to the floor now. Okay, we're gonna do a floor press. So you're gonna lie on the floor. Obviously, if you've got a bench, you could do a bench press, but I'm gonna keep it simple today. You're gonna have the grip slightly wider than your shoulders. You're just gonna press to the top and lower till your elbows hit the floor. So I want you to power up nice and fast, and then a controlled lowering phase. So Power up, controlled lowering face. We've got that explosive push with that controlled eccentric lower. If you're struggling, 
Try putting your grip a little wider, it does get a bit easier. All right. So we've got 30 seconds off. There's round one of three done in the first section. We're gonna go back to those power snatches. So from the floor each time and not dropping into a full squat. Take my time, reset my position. So not too many reps, but just making them nice and explosive. Focusing on good technique. Next, we've got a push jerk. Those 30 second rests go by pretty quick with these big movements. I've got the clock over to the side if you see me glancing over there throughout the workout. Good job, that was tough. Just putting the bar down for a second. Those front lunges next. If you've got a rack, you could use that to help you move the bar between positions. But if not, you'll just have to clean it up and over. So alternating. Front lunges, making sure that front knee doesn't collapse in. It's quite a heavy lunge. If it's too heavy for you, just go for body weight or find a light pair of dumbbells. Floor press next. Like I said, if you want it a little bit more difficult, go for a narrower grip. If you want it a bit easier, try a slightly wider grip. Let's have a nice explosive press and some control on the way down. two rounds done just one to go of those four exercises then we'll be moving on to some new ones so we're starting back with that power snatch focus on good technique over doing lots of reps and externally rotate drop the hips tighten the upper back up Keep the bar as close to your body as you can. I wouldn't worry about coming too fast off the floor, but as it starts passing your knees, you want to start accelerating. So 
So not too many reps, but just resetting my upper back, making sure you've got good technique and a nice powerful start position. Got those push jerks next. Remember, try and get underneath the bar at the top. The bar is gonna finish above the crown of your head. So slightly further back. is next. <sighs> Haven't gone light for this. This is fairly challenging for me. I'm glad I put some 30 second rests in. Let's get those lunges ready. up with that floor press as I said before this workout is a bit easier transitioning the bar with a rack but I just wanted to show you it could be done without as I realize at home a lot of people don't have one I do recommend though you get an Olympic barbell. It doesn't have to be a full weight 20 kilo one. I'm actually using a 10 kilo barbell here and some Olympic diameter plates. I'll put some links in the description. They are affiliate links, but it doesn't cost you any more to use them. It just makes some of these exercises start from the right height from the floor. That's it. Done, okay. We're gonna change the weight now, or I am. Feel free to stay on the same weight if you want. I'm just gonna go up by 10 kilos. So I'm going up to 50 kilogram total, 110 pounds. That's including the weight of the bar. And we're gonna be doing some snatch pulls. We're gonna do some explosive back squats and some power cleans and a pendley row. So it's talking about those Olympic diameter plates, just gives you the right height to row off the floor. If you're enjoying this and you fancy checking out my barbell ebook, I'll link it in the description below. It's got loads of sets, reps, program periodization throughout. So make sure you have a look at that. Let's get ready for those snaps. So you've got a straight arm pull. You're basically doing a snatch grip deadlift and then turning it into a shrug. You're also going to come up onto the tiptoe, so you're going to come up through the snatch grip deadlift. Tiptoe shrug and back down. Next up, we've got a back squat, but you're gonna continue the back squat through into a little toe rise as you carry that momentum through the squat. Might have gone a little bit heavy for this for me. So you're gonna squat down, drive up, 
and just a little explosive rise at the top. Notice I'm breathing and bracing. Take a fresh breath for each rep for myself. Okay, next up we're gonna do some power cleans. So you're gonna Clean the bar up to your collarbone from the ground, but without dropping into that full front squat position. Get the upper back set. If the bar does make contact, it should hit you just above the halfway point on your thigh. Don't let the bar come away from your body, keep it close. So technique points, the bar shouldn't come away. Don't turn it into a reverse curl, keep it nice and close. Swivel your elbows underneath the bar to receive it at the top and try not to thrust your hips into the bar. Instead, pull your chest upright, keeping the bar traveling in a straight line. Ready for that pendily row. So you're gonna return the bar to the floor in between reps. You want a flat back start each rep. The bar is gonna pretty much travel in a straight line up. Make contact with your upper abs. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna go down actually. I'm gonna take these fives back off. Just to keep good technique. That was fine for one round. I'm gonna do the same exercises again. But I think if I wanna keep it looking neat, stay injury free, I'm just gonna take that down a notch. So we've got those snatch pulls, so it's basically a snatch grip, wide grip deadlift with a little calf raise and shrug at the top. Let's control the bar to the floor, but powerful on the way up. Definitely worth going lighter. So I've gone back down to 40 kilos, 88 pounds. Bar on your back for those back squats. Feet shoulder width apart, slight turn out. Power up, and a little drive at the top. Make sure your knees stay externally rotated. Heels stay on the floor for your squat. They can come off when you come to the top. Definitely struggling with this pace. Let's keep it going. You can always go lighter if you need to. We've got those power cleans, so from the floor, but just receiving the bar in just a quarter squat position at the top.
I like a reset every rep. If you're super fit, maybe you can touch and go them, but it's not really my style of training. All right, we've got those pendly rows. So it's like a bent over row. You're gonna return the bar to the floor. That's just gonna take a little bit of pressure off the lower back in between reps because we're using that a lot in the other exercises. So to do a bent over row here would be a bit too much. So you're gonna pull in a straight line. I imagine bending the bar just before you lift to take some tension in the lats. Try and get your body still so you don't bob up and down. Whew. Okay, so we've got one more round. As I said before, if you're enjoying this and you want to do some more training with me, maybe on more of a sets and rep style program, check out that barbell plan ebook, which I'll link in the description of this video. It's got video demos for all the exercises, and I'm pretty proud of it. So have a look at that and see what you think. Snatch pulse. Just three exercises to go, so stay with me. We've got those explosive back squats next. So feet, shoulder width apart, slight turn out to the toes. Breathe and brace. You shouldn't be resting the bar on your neck bones. Ideally, you want it on your traps. Got those power cleans so the bars traveling nice and close to your body don't let it come out front when it gets to about chest height you're going to start dropping under the bar and rotating your elbows around I recommend if you're a beginner to actually come slow off the floor, but then start accelerating past your knees. Okay, one more exercise, and then we're done for the workouts. So we've got that pendley row rowing off the floor if you do purchase that ebook you can still do these follow-alongs alongside it okay let's get you ready okay final one there's nothing to hold back for now so let's leave it all on this exercise
And that's it, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout? And where in the world are you doing the workout from? I'll link my seven day barbell series for you to have a go at here. If you fancy doing a little cool down stretch, I'll link one here. Uh, hit the thumbs up button, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you again soon for another workout.